Take. You got the matriarb. Examine broken eight ball. Bad break. Just another member of your team unaccounted for. Where the hell is she? Oh well, at least she's out of everybody's hair for a while. She's probably off swooning over that shitty, greasy human movie star and being generally harmless. Examine Tinkerbull plush. Dear Tinkerbull. Sweet, sweet, precious Tinkerbull. Tavros loved this memorial plush sewn for him so much. Seeing it here on the floor would be especially poignant if he were dead. But you know for a fact that he is alive and well, so it's all good. Relaxing in the home pile, I see. Yes! Why don't you hop in too, Kanaya? There is plenty of space. Solix and I are glubbing about feelings. That sounds nice, but it really doesn't look like there is much room in that pile of horns at all, and I should get going anyway. Yeah, of course there's no room. It was kind of a moronic invitation, to be honest. Hey, shut your mopey blowhole! I was just showing a little basic courtesy. Really, you are just the grouchiest dude sometimes. And it's really cute. Also, let's get real. This horn pile isn't comfortable at all. I've got hard metal edges jabbing me everywhere, and it's lumpy as hell, and you can't move a fucking inch without honking the shit out of it and making everyone in the room look at you. What idiot thought this was the ideal thing to chill out on? Oh, that's right, a brain-dead clown who eats toxic slime. You probably like it because it's like a coral reef or some horrible jagged underwater pile of shit like that. Grouchy mother glubber! <laughs> Mwah! Um... Okay, I will leave you be. Kanaya, I see that look on your face. You are curious, but are nervous about meddling. Am I right? Um... FF, come on. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay, really. We were sharing some feelings about stuff. Solix was feeling bummed out because Aradia blew up, and she was his very close friend. <sighs> Holy shit! Yes! Let's talk about all my problems openly. I love that! Hey, KK, check this out! My emotions are serving as entertainment again! Yeah! Hey, Car Crab! Get your nubs over here! Plenty of room in the pile! OMG! That was such an obscene gesture he just made. Anyway, yeah. Now that AA is gone forever, I feel more depressed and useless than usual, and I was already pretty goddamn useless to begin with, let's face it. But I have it on good authority that she is fine. Everything is going to go swimmingly. You'll see! You are so ridiculously optimistic, it's kind of sickening. Why do you even put up with me? If you weren't so great, I would think you were a fucking idiot for liking me. So, I guess thanks for liking me? Wait, that sounded so pathetic. Oh god. I should probably take that back. Kanaya, what the fuck are you still doing here? God damn it! Can't a guy get a little gloving privacy with a fist girl and a pile of horns? Examine used host plush. This one has been decapitated for some reason. Weird. And gross. Examine scale mate. Why, Duke Pine Snort, it seems your lovely green complexion has turned to blue as each past treachery has tightened your noose a little more. Worry not. It will all be over soon as you are stuffed into your sarcophagus and given a funeral fit not for a nobleman, but a lowly beggar. Let that be a lesson to your family, who was also executed in the name of justice. What was that about? I don't know. I guess I fucked up again. I can't seem to do anything right in her eyes anymore. I mean, nose. Maybe you should go say something to her. Well, I would, but she's probably burrowed fuck deep in the slab by now. I'm sure she's busy scooting up and down stairs and sushing through pointless corridors and opening chests containing, like, three boon dollars and hideous paintings of enormous naked barnyard monsters. What is with all the chests anyway? And why do we keep squirreling our useless shit away in them? I really should have written a memo about this. Like, the rules of chesticate. Squirreling. Squirrel is the human word for nut creature. 
Oh, well, I think the chests are fun. They make for nice surprises. Whatever. Anyway, I can't leave. If you haven't noticed, the team has been falling apart here ever since Aradia exploded for no reason and therefore presumably died forever. Seriously, where the hell is everybody? Where's Gamzy? Shit isn't right. I've got to stay put here and keep it together. Okay then. If I see her along my way, I'll let her know you want to talk. If you don't think that's too meddlesome of me. No, that's fine. Thanks. Wait. You're going somewhere? I'm returning to the court to deposit the matriarb. Wish me luck. Whoa, what the fuck? I mean, that's great if that's what you want to do with it, but you can't go. I need you here. Look around, shit is mayhem. I'll only be gone for a few minutes. Anyway, you're doing a good job and I think you can manage to cope with my momentary absence. Okay, fine. In that case, good luck. Hope it works. Thanks. Examine Robo Debris. The final Aradia robot exploded about an hour ago. She is dead for good now, you guess. Or is she? Yes, she is. You're completely certain of it. Examine Unireal Air. It's sad seeing Unireal Air lying here without Gamzy around to neglect it while people trip over it. It's almost a little poignant, like seeing a toppled tricycle in the yard of a missing child. So, you mean a toppled three-wheel device in the lawn ring of a called Wiggler. Doesn't get more tragic than that. Examine Fago. Gamzy left perfectly good lukewarm bottles of Wicked Elixir lying around. There was something so wrong about this. You think about taking a robust swig, but then you come to your senses and don't. Examine Dragon Suit. Teresi's ridiculous cosplay getup. You feel kinda of bad for mocking her for it. Just one of many exhibits of boorish behavior you should probably apologize for. That is, if you're presently carcat while examining this item. If you aren't, those thoughts are not relevant to you. You decided not to program contingencies for examining this item with different characters, because that would have been a waste of time. Examine Broken Bow. You have seen many sad things on your adventure, but watching Aquius practice archery may be the saddest thing of all. Examine Host Blush. You really hope he stops playing games for girls soon. For good. One way or another. about serious feelings here. Solix has been feeling... Don't give a fuck! Thank you. KK, you are a true friend. Oh, fine. So, what reeled you over to the old pile? Have any of you seen Gamzy? It's not like him to stray far from the horn pile. I'm getting kind of worried. You are? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh... Just, where is he? I don't know, man. I have heard nary a hunk out of him for a while. Maybe something frightened him off into the lab? Why don't you go looking for him? We could help. I would, but I can't. Got to say put, keeping the team together. I don't want you fuckers straying off either, you understand? Just stay in the pile and keep making everyone uncomfortable with your sappy bullshit. That's an order. We were thinking of taking a nap. Actually, you should too, Carp Catfish. It'll be great. Why do you keep insisting on ignoring the simple no sleeping rule? I made it perfectly... You know what? Fine. Just take your nap as long as you just stay put. It sounds like you've been talking to the Jade Human like you said you would. Yeah? I just used the phrase, the Jade Human, satirically for no reason. It is just one of the many ways in which I'm becoming more multicultural. Nice one. I'm laughing up a fucking storm. Have you found her password system to be practical? Don't even get me started on the password bullshit. So, okay, 
Future Jade gives me some really mysterious thing to tell past Jade to make sure she does something she needs to do without explicitly giving herself the idea from the future. Which is dumb, but okay, I go along with it so she doesn't completely flip the fuck out at me. And then I get back to her in the future to say I did it. And what am I greeted with? Password. Password, 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 you nubby, grumpy sack of ugly fuck! I want a password right now or I will shove my cold laser hate stare through your bulge from behind my goofy ass goggly girl glasses for lame shitty sissies! Okay, I'm paraphrasing here. So I give her the password and she's like, WRONG! I haven't given you that password yet, or you already gave me that password, or it's too early for it, or whatever. Find the right future me to give the password to. So I'm like, fuck. I respectfully submit this is new levels of stupidity and pointlessness that only retards would enjoy while earnestly investigating their own genitals, but that's just my opinion. And then we spend way more time arguing about password shit than anything constructive. It sounds like you like her. What? Where are you getting that? Well, she is giving you a reason to be frustrated and loud. What more could you ask for in a friend? She's quite considerate, actually. Okay, yes. I'll say she's a lot more decent than I gave her credit for originally. And somewhere in this mess, I guess a coherent plan is starting to emerge? I still can't determine exactly what it is because she's always so vague. But whatever. At least she actually seems to care about helping us with our problem too, which is more than I thought a human would do. And anyway, more than I can say for a lot of the lousy, self-absorbed fucks around here. Do you think Terezi is aware of your interactions with her? I don't know, probably? I don't want to sound too meddlesome, because I know people don't like that, but didn't you and she used to have a thing like that? Man, why does everyone think we had a thing? Well, didn't you? The thing which may or may not have existed notwithstanding, what right would she have to be upset about me talking to Jade? Maybe she thinks you are trying to make her jealous. Oh, like she's not doing the same thing to me by talking to that pompous tool who's idiotically insecure about the color of his eyes, while hypocritically typing with his candy red text to drive the girls wild. What a fucking show off. You just know she's doing it to annoy me. She was probably even putting on a little show for me crying over his corpse. Like she really gives a shit. Do you actually believe she was pretending? Yeah, sh sure. I don't know. Maybe you should try not to be so quick to dismiss the sincerity of people's emotions. I guess you're right. Wow, I was being pretty dumb just now. What a fucking idiot. Past me is always so terrible, even when I literally just finished being him. <sighs> uh. I wasn't actually crying just now. I was exaggerating my reaction for effect. Okay, you're going way too far with the multicultural shit. You need to take it down a peg. Answer. You have no interest in talking to this con artist right now. You are busy and you won't even bother dignifying his text by highlighting it. Maybe a little later. Can, I've been meaning to thank you. For what? For all the training you did. I wouldn't be the incredible holy wizard I am now without your help. But I didn't even really train you, I just made you a wand. Yeah, well, that's all I needed, I guess. I just needed for someone to show a little faith in me. So I'm saying thanks. I owe ya. Okay then, you're welcome. I hope you use your magnificent powers of light and hope for goodness and purity and let's not forget science. Don't worry, I'm all over that shit. You don't even know. Uh-oh. I hope that didn't come off as too sarcastic. What? The thing I just said. I didn't even realize how sarcastic I was being. It's starting to become a problem, I think. Please, don't take too much offense. <laughs> Damn, Ken. If that's your idea of offense being made, then I honestly got a fucking worry for you. 
tell you what. I'll give you some lessons in dealing out the dark umbrage to repay you for your tutelage in the white science. Um, sure. A little later, maybe. Hey, well, what are you doing anyway? <laughs> What's that thing there? The matriob. I was about to go hatch it in the car to restore our race. That sounds... hopeful. I hope it's hopeful. You should have told me about this. If there's going to be any sort of hope for our race, as the Prince of Hope, I demand to be involved. So don't go anywhere without me. Got it? But... Fine. Examine Matriorb. Gotta help Kanaya out with this thing after your business is done here. Hope is your jurisdiction on this meteor. Man, where have you been? You aren't helping wandering off like... Holy shit. Is that your new magic wand? It's not magic. Well, we talked about this, Carl! Right. It's powered by science. I forgot. Or hope, whatever the fuck that means. I don't fucking need this from you. I take enough shit as it is from the rest of you dust scrapers. I thought you and me had a kind of pact or whatever. <laughs> okay, fine. Shut up. I apologize. I know it's tough being you. Nobody gets it. I had a harder time than anybody with this game. It was really fucking unfair with what challenges I got saddled with. I would have fucking murdered for a land full of a lot of harmless brains and fire. But no, it was so lonely. Hey guys, anybody will want to come hang out with me in the land of wrath and angels? Anybody at all? I know it isn't anything like one of your flippin' land picnics. Anybody, please! I'll even settle for a kitty cat ship or cave girl. But yeah, I guess being her sewer player and saving her life wasn't goddamn enough. Had to be my most humiliating rejection yet. Okay, but to be fair, I'm pretty sure she's still obsessed with me. It's a very unfortunate, very red, and very unrequited situation I've been trying to tiptoe around for a long time, okay? Her disinterest in your advance wasn't a reflection on you at all. Come on! We talked about this! Yeah, I guess. Anyway, I don't know how you were expecting to make any sort of traction if you see her as the kitty cat shipper girl. She's a person with feelings, you raving douche! I know, Wabakar. It's not even the point. I'm over that embarrassment. I'm just saying, where the fuck were you guys? I had to deal with those awful angels all by myself. Do you have any idea how hard those assholes are to kill? Like, at least a minute of sustained fire from only the most legendary weapon ever, and they were fast and angry as shit! Yeah, we talked about that too! I really don't think you were supposed to be killing them, dude. I kept saying, I think they're like game construct or something there to serve some other game purpose, not for you to hunt down. They didn't even give you any grist, you idiot! That was your first clue! Fine, but what hell are you're still missing the point. Where was everybody? Why are they avoiding me all the time? They were too scared shitless to set foot on your planet for more than a second! Between a trigger-happy prince with a god weapon blasting anything that twitched, and a million crazed angels he deliberately enraged, it wasn't what I'd call an ideal social hub. If you were lonely, why didn't you venture out more often? Well, I would, uh, but nobody else was volunteering to pick up the slack on angel-killing duties. Oh my fucking god! Why don't you listen? And anyways, I did leave. Eventually. Leaving your planets to go duel with Solix isn't being sociable, you thick fuck! And you know what? You deserve getting your ass handed to you, because I warned you, and you didn't listen! Yeah, okay. We will see who's becoming the proud new recipient of who's ass now. Uh, look, just stay here for a while, okay? No more brooding in the lab, and absolutely no fucking dueling! Stay out of trouble! Oh, God. It's him. FF, can you tell him to go away? I don't even have the energy for this. Hey, Finless, this doesn't concern those who are with mustard sludge slipping through their ways. It's a matter for royalty only. 
So keep your mouth closed or I'll slit you open over my next meal. Whatever, bro. Not interested. Aridin, please! I don't want to see any more dueling. Don't try to provoke him. It's not like I don't know what you're doing. You keep trying to spark a rivalry with him to get me to auspicize between you two and pull us out of our quadrant. It's the oldest and lamest trick in the book. It didn't work then, and it won't work now. That's an astonishing accusation. How could you say that? First, as if this scum is even worthy of a rivalry with me. And second, as if I'm not totally done with you, like I have told you repeatedly. All I will want to do is how a word with you. Okay, Aridin, we can talk. But only if you're planning on being civil. That's what you never get, Fifth. You and I are being civil by wary virtue of the fact that we're talking now. Well, we are royalty, you and I. And will we belong together? Even if not in that way. Which I get that you're not into, and that's fine. But will we belong together as the ruling class, if nothing else? So I'm gonna ask you this one last time, and give you the choice. I'm about to go. Please, come with me. Go with you? Aridin, you weren't really serious about going to find Jack, were you? Of course I was! And we should do it together. You got nothing to fear now. I reached a new height of power no one else can dream of. Not even Mindfang. With her garish orange sweat suit and her silly flappy wings and her poppycock about luck, which everyone with a think pan know was to be the fakest fiction that ever failed to exist. This is the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. He made one of his shitty fake wands glow a little and now he thinks he's a fairy god troll or something. <laughs> what was that slander I just heard? I can't even tell. I tend to block out noise from filth whose blood is practically the complimentary fucking color of mine. He has a point, though, in that you may be overestimating your abilities. Jack Noir is insanely powerful, Aridin. Please, I don't want to see you do anything foolish by trying to fight him. Fight him? Are you fucking nuts? I slaughtered enough angels to know what were my limits, and where I stand against the lord of all angels they prophesized. Of course, I'm not going to fight him. I stand no chance in hell against the guy. I'm going to join him. You're what? And you're going to join me in joining him too. Come on, Feth, let's go. <laughs> okay, that's it. He's lost it. No, I am not. And you aren't either. That is gloving insane. I thought you were supposed to be the Prince of Hope. How is it hopeful to surrender to a murderous demon like a coward? As the Prince of Hope, I am uniquely qualified to recognize when all hope is lost. And I'm telling you, there is no hope, not even a little bit. Only thing left to do is sow him and hope he spares us. And I'm extending the invitation to come with me, because even though you don't think so, I really do care about you. So and under Jack, together, we will be unstoppable, and our anemones will tremble before us. Well, what do you say? No! You have lost all right to use fish puns forever! I revoke your fish punning license, as whale as our frond ship. Don't take that tuna voice with me, princess. What the fuck did I just say? makes me sad, Aridin. But now we have to stop you. We can't let you find Jack and risk you leading him to us. So, that's how it is, is it? She's right, man. Can't believe this. I was looking forward to a nap, too. I should have killed you on Lobath when I had the chance. Oh well. Guess it's only fitting I take you down in round two. You ready, Prince? Bring it, mage.
I'm a prince and I had a pair of princesses and two sharp squares, but then I guess I bored them both to death. And now I think my calling is to break apart and fall to pieces. Better yet, invent a brand new method of ascension. I'm impressed. You managed to survive. But rest assured, we'd all be better off dead than alive. Cause when they get a hold of us, we'll all be better fried. And I'm surprised that nobody's considered switching sides. So here I am, respectfully and royally, destroying any chance of getting to be hurtful, but if yellow's the new purple, well then bleeding's the new breathing, don't you think I will? I used to wish the death of every living thing. I might be a killer, but you'll never be my queen.